Howdy, howdy, everybody. I'm back with another small review on a recent game that just came in the mail today. And that, of course, is this one right here. Pokemon Radical Red version. So, this game has been really been po has really been popular over the last few weeks with fans, with Pokemon fans, and also with me as well, because it's already pretty notorious on how challenging the game is and how pretty how pretty fun it is. Let me give you a little like um, insight about it. This is pretty much a fire red hack. It's enhanced, like <laughs> to the max, like literally, like. You're able to catch all 12, like, you're able to get, catch all the way to 8 Gen Pokemon in here. Uh, also, like, uh, like I've mentioned be, uh, mentioned before, it's, uh, there's, like, massive additional features to this game. Uh, and, uh, what else can I say about it? Okay, for, exa for example, this game does have all, like, all, like, the old mechanics, like, for example... There's physical and special split, and also meaning the, like uh, there's all the the new fair uh, the newest typings are available like fairy fairy types are available as well. There's mega evolutions in here, abilities up to Gen eight. Also, there's moves that include uh, moves that were included on the like on the recent um, armor uh, Iowa of Ar armor DLC. And there's raid battles. There's re uh, TMs are and are reusable. And also, it's pretty expanded TM list. Like you, you can have a really big expanded TM list. There's also additional. There's like additional move tutors. Um, like there's like you get like Gen Eight experience share. So yeah, there's day and night. You got to Oh, the best thing of all, there's Dex Nav as well, and that's pretty cool when it comes to grinding or looking for shiny types. Look, all I can say is that this game has so much freaking stuff in it. It's just in insane. And this is pretty much a po every Pokemon fan's fantasy right here. This is a fa this is the perfect game for me. It's challenging. It's fun, and well, what more can I say about it? It's just it's just way too great. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go ahead and show you a little. I already have I already have a file set up on this game. I already I'm, I already started playing it as soon as it arrived because I was too excited about it. Uh, the uh, the one I have right here, apparently when I got it on eBay, this is the uh, version 2.1, I believe, which also includes a randomizer uh, when you start your journey. So before you even leave your room, it actually gives you an option to like uh, turn on the randomizer. Uh, and if, if you guys don't know what that means, it means, for example, your starters, your, the Pokemon you encounter... The people you battle uh, and the items you find or receive will all be randomized. So yeah, if you guys are really uh, ex oh, well, an exception is for the gym leaders, the Pokemon League, and the champion. They will all still have their team, their regular team, regardless if you choose a uh, randomizer or not. And if you guys are really like huge masochists and you're really up for the challenge. <laughs> Like, you know, like some of those YouTubers who be making those challenge videos, uh, challenge videos and all. There's also a randomizer hard mode. Hard, if you don't, uh, uh, and let me specify on that one. The hard mode pretty much um, makes everything more, well, like way, way <laughs> difficult for you. Uh, for example, it makes your, you, you, you have like a very low encounter rate. And also, even when you have an encounter... The Pokemon you encounter are trash. Literally, even your starters are trash as well. So you literally have to like play, like play and try to beat the entire game with a trashy team. I mean, we're talking about hey, you can start off with a freaking Sunkern as your starter, or a freaking trashy ass trash Pokemon like freaking um, like Pichu and all that crap. Uh, you know, really terrible Pokemon like that. It's like. <laughs> It's it's really if it's very difficult. I've heard a lot of I've seen some videos about it. And it's just like something I would not want to try because I'm like I love challenges, but I mean I'm not that I'm not that insane. <laughs> so I'm not even gonna risk getting a freaking like uh, aneurysm over that. So enough of my bambling, bambling, and let's get this started. Also, if you notice my DS 
it's missing its top, the top part. It's because I accidentally, it, it broke like a while back. So I just said, instead of fixing it, I just said, fuck it, I'll just rip it. I just rip it off and toss that bitch, turn this into a Game Boy. Uh, the only downside is the audio, you have no audio, but if you use, uh, but if I use headphones, you can listen to the audio and all, so just bear with me. I mean, I'm just going to show you the gameplay, so you, that way you guys can see, to see how it plays. Alright, not too sharp, it's starting off pretty good. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's see. Warning, the correct system time could not be read. Enable the real-time clock RTC and make sure the time... Yeah, just just pretty much ignore that. Um, that's not too much of a problem. I mean, it says that for some... It, it, it keeps saying that, but even though... But it, you will still have day and night. So, yeah. You won't have the accurate time, but you will still have day and night cycles. So, let's, let me show you the po current Pokemon I have. I got Shinx. Yeah, here we got, got Shinx, Bulbasaur, Snom, Houndor, and Zigzagoon. Not too bad. Intimidate, Overgrow, Shield Dust, Early Bird, Gluttony, Intimidate. Also, one of the one of the things I like about this is that uh, you can literally like uh, if you hold L. You have out auto run, so you don't have to hold the B button that much. So here, here I am, just walking normally. I hold L, and as you can see, I'm auto running. I'm not even holding it anymore. It just stays that way. So I freaking love that. <laughs> Bro is fucking raging right now. <laughs> All right. Oh, look at that right there. That's the Dex Nav. Uh, hold on. Let me give you a quick little ins example. Alright, see here's the Pokedex, here's all my eye options, not that much here. Now let me show you the Dex Nav, I freaking love this, there it is. To access that, just press right, just press right, and press A. And as you can see, these are the cur currently the Pokemon there that you can find in this area. So let's say, uh, I want to find... Screw it. Let's go with Starly because Starly is the best bird starter in my opinion. One of the bird like best bird Pokemon out there in my opinion. Star Raptor is like freaking amazing. There's your Starly. There's my Shinx. Also, catching Pokemon in here also gives you experience. Uh, I'm pretty sure you guys. Oh, uh, like I already like don't really care about that or really are not that interested in that information. But I mean, you know. Just so you know, it's it's there. Also, as you can see right here on the sides, it shows you the typings of the Pokemon. And that, in my opinion, comes in handy. Because I'll be honest with you, I haven't really been getting into the whole Pokemon Sword and Shield at all. Like, I mean, I've heard about it, but I never, like, bothered playing through an entire game through, a game, game through, a gameplay and all that. So, yeah, because I guess I just haven't been that interested into that game. But I mean, I really like that it shows you what typings there are here. It shows you it's electric for my Shinx. It's pure electric. Starly is normal fly and flying. Also, some of these Pokemons um, have um, are gonna have different typings. Like if I recall, Shinx. God damn it! All right, give me one second, guys. Mother's being a freaking pill today. I'll be right back. All right, everybody, I'm back. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah, so as I was saying, I forget what I was saying. God damn it. Oh, well. The game works. I mean, okay, there's Rook D. I freaking love Rook D, the freaking, um, I freaking love Rook D's design. It's just so damn good, I'll be honest. <laughs> Oh, by the way, if you're gonna choose Rook D as your bird Pokemon, as your, like your main like flyer and all that, I do not recommend it because I just found out that instead of like um, having a Corviknight by level 38, <laughs> get this, you actually have to train that. Uh, you won't be able to get that bastard till level 60. I don't know why the creator of this like ROM, 